I graduated from Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College in 1982. So 29 years I've been in practice, all in the Guilford area here. I developed a strong family practice right from the beginning and many of those patients, 28 years, 29 years later, are coming in not just as patients but also their children. So I've, I've always had an affinity for, for the children in the practice and I'd rather keep healthy people healthy than try and get sick people healthy. It's way easier to get healthy people, keep healthy people healthy. I first started to come see Dr. Stewart in um, March of 2007. I had low back, uh, low back problems. I, uh, my back has been out ever since I had children. I couldn't run after my children, they were young, they were active, and I couldn't keep up. So I decided I needed to see a chiropractor. <laughs> the great majority of our patients do come to our office with some kind of pain, whether it be low back pain, which is probably the most common complaint that we see in the office. Neck pain, headaches, those are the, probably the three biggest things that we see in our office. First thing, when, when, when you come into my office, many people are really unaware of what a chiropractor does or uh, contributes to the healthcare system. And a lot of people think that we are only concerned with back pain. So when you first come in, our priority, of course, is to relieve you of your pain. But more importantly, we're trying to create a healthier you. And to create a healthier you, we need to have you understand a little bit about healthcare. So we'll, not only will we do our examination, our consultation, but we'll provide you with information so that you can take care of yourself better through your own ability rather than having to rely on drugs, medications, surgeries, or even us to keep you healthy. So it's key that you have a good understanding of, of your own body and so we take you through a complete examination then we review it with you and then you decide whether you want to continue with care. Most of our patients do and get results so that's how we create our, our referral business through our, the, the uh, wellness of our patients. My quality of life is uh, greatly improved actually. Um, I am able to work out, keep up with work, uh, the demands of uh, being on pack, uh, just very hectic lifestyle, but yet able to keep up, and which is a huge difference compared to what it used to be, where it'd be like, as soon as you get home, you're like, on the couch. <laughs> we need to understand the definition of health, and the World Health Organization, commonly known as WHO, defines health as a state of optimal mental, physical and social well-being and you can see people that are physically healthy but not mentally healthy so I think it's important to create balance in your life socialize get out and exercise take care of yourself try and avoid medication if you can I'm not saying that medication is a bad thing because without insulin there would be people dying so but if you can avoid it and, and make lifestyle changes to avoid medications and get out and exercise so that you don't have to go on statin drugs, it's such a better approach. You will live a healthier, longer life by doing that and a happier life. I came to work for Dr. Stewart because I was on my wellness program. I had gone through my intensive care. I just loved his personality, he, the way the office worked. It was very family oriented, very much so felt like family and he uh, every month would ask me if I wanted to come and help and work in the back and I finally on the fourth or fifth month I said all right and uh, next you know it's just been a whirlwind since then so it's been great yeah.